1998 Vauxhall Vectra Super Touring. So this is one of the thousand Super Touring Special Editions they made. Um, all in white, all with these wheels, all with this spec, which you'll see in a second. Uh, they made 500 of the two liters and five of the two and a half liter V6s, uh, which this one is. This one, um, they come with a number plaque, which we'll show you in a second. This one's pretty well known on the, uh, on the Super Touring Forum, um, but we will detail all of that in the description. Um, we'll show you around the, uh, the bodywork to start with. If we start on this front driver's quarter, if we look down this side, you can see lovely and straight all the way down. It's not full of filler or ripples or anything like that. Uh, it's on the correct Super Touring wheel, so you'll see with the, the Super Touring logo on there. Um, and it's got good quality tires all around. So we've got a proxy on this one. I believe it's proxies on the front uh, and then matching good qualities on the rear, but we'll point them out as we go. Nice and clean inside this arch all the way around. There's no sign of any corrosion or anything coming through there. The rest of the, the wing, all nice and tidy. Coming down this driver's side, if we have a look at the sill to start with, again, you can see lovely and sharp. It wants a good wipe down, but other than that, there's no corrosion. All correct holes and everything are there. And no extra ones, which is always nice. Nice and tidy on the driver's door. You've got your Super Touring logo here. Around the handle and everything's all nice and tidy. And then obviously you've got this larger wing mirror aperture that you get on this shape Vectra. It's nice and clean underneath, which can normally be a bit of an area for gunk and grime. Coming up this A pillar, there's no sign of any stone chips or anything on there. Got one tiny little mark there, which actually looks like, yeah, that's polished. We'll get that off and all that. Lovely and clean along the top of the, uh, the windscreen there. The rest of the roof, nice and straight. It's not covered in ripples or dents or anything like that. There's no real marks or anything to notice on there. We've got the correct GM stamped glass. So we've got the driver's window down so it doesn't lock the key in there. All nice and clean around the, edge, the edges of the windows and all that sort of stuff. Rear passenger door, again, tidy, no sign of any marks on there. And then if we have a look on this sill, where it meets the, uh, the arch, you can see the arch itself, it's lovely and sharp all the way around. And then obviously it meets the plastic bumper. Another good wheel and tyre, all the wheels have got the centre caps as well, which is quite unusual. Um, and then while we've got the door open, I just want to show you in here and this seam, which can be a bit of a problem area, you can see is lovely and clean, it's like brand new in there, as are the bottoms of the doors and the insides as well. Even around the filler cap, all nice and clean in there. No sign of any corrosion popping through. Coming around on the back, both rear tail lights are bright and clear. No sign of any moisture or cracking or anything in those. And we've got a crack badge in, so this was back when Vauxhall were bragging about ABS. Super Touring logo. And then obviously letting you know it's a 2.5 V6, as opposed to the two liter four pot. Lower half of that bumper's all nice and clean, as is the rear uh, section of the exhaust. You can see the boot floor from the underneath there. Really, really good, lovely and clean. It's obviously not seen a lot of moisture in its life or a lot of salt. Lower half of this boot lid, all good. And again, the spoiler is nice and tidy. Quite often people will use these to open and close the boot, but there's, there's no real signs of any sort of cracks or stress on that. Got one tiny little scratch just on the corner there where it's been touched in. And I am being particularly picky because this is probably the cleanest vector of this age I think I've ever seen. Really, really good on this boot lid. And if we come onto the passenger side, if we look down that side, you can see the body lines are lovely and sharp all the way down. Nice and straight, not full of filler again. Rear arch on this side again, nice and sharp all the way around. You can see just how clean it is there. We'll pop that door open. And again, in that seam and along this section, lovely and clean, no sign of any bubbling or corrosion at all. On the rears, what have we got there? Yeah, so we've got Bridgestones on the rear uh, and tyres on the front. Um, so four good quality tyres matching across the axles. Glass on this side, all stamped up with the correct numbers. Sill on this side. Again, once a good wipe down, but it's lovely and clean as far as sort of corrosion or any damage goes. Can have a good look at the underside from there as well. Really, really clean. Both the rear door and the front, no sign of any marks. There's not a stone chip or anything at all to whinge about. Does make for a boring video, but it makes for a very nice car. Nice and clean around this wing mirror and up the A pillar. Can have another look at the roof from here as well. Lovely and clean along there and in this rail here. And on the bottom of the screen, 
get it all nice and clean. All the plastic is nice and tidy. It's not covered in back to black. It's not dried out or cracked or anything like that. All nice around that arch there. You've got your final wheel and tire, tire on the front, like I mentioned before. And then you've got that super touring bumper. Really nice and tidy. If you look at the lower half of that, you can see nice and straight all the way along. It's not been rammed up curbs or loaded up wrong or anything like that. Both headlights, clean and bright. There's not even any stone chips on the front bumper to whinge about. It's really, really good. Oh, there we go, we've got one and it's, yeah, it's polished, ignore it. Try to find something to whinge about. There you are, there's one tiny little stone chip just there on the leading edge of the bonnet and you've got one more there. But I am being really, really picky, just trying to find something to whinge about. Bonnet itself, nice and straight. Come around on the interior and again, you can see outsides of the doors, bottoms of the doors and the door shuts. Just as good as the rest of the bodywork, all the tags and everything nice and clear. Standard super touring interior, it's not been messed with. No real signs of anywhere on that bolster. It does look sort of dirty on the camera, but that's just the alcantara -y sort of cloth trim. It does look like that with a light, but you can see lovely and clean. And then the center section, the same story. We've got one little mark on the bottom of the wheel where someone with the rings caught it there. But that is about and a tiny little mark just on the top on the carbon section. Other than that, really, really good. Mileage wise, we've got 68,222. If you check the description, we'll detail what we know about service history and where it's been, things like that. Around the gear lever and the handbrake area, that's all nice and tidy. And then there you've got that plaque. So this one's car number 468 of a thousand cars in total and 468 of the 500 V6 models. Coming around up the rear on the driver's side, nice and tidy. Again, same story with the doors and the door shuts. Rear bench is all nice and tidy. There's no sort of signs of any wear or anything like that. All the uh, armrests and everything fit as they should. The uh, the rear seat covers or the rear seat pockets, sorry, are not saggy or anything like that. Headlining, lovely and clean. No sign of any sagging, no sign of any dirt. You've got this old school box of tapes to go with it as well. Just a nice little touch. Carpet set's lovely and clean. There's no sign of any ingrained dirt on that. Boot carpets here, we'll pull that out just so you can have a good look at the floor. But we do have the uh, the key for the wheels. So obviously that goes onto the center caps here to get those out. So that is in the boot, that is there with the car. Always better than finding out it's missing when you go for some tires. But as you can see in here, lovely and clean. There's no sign of any trap moisture, no sign of any nasty patches or welds or anything like that. Really, really good. And then the same with this under section here. So again, this can, you can sort of find a bit of corrosion sort of manifesting in here, but there's nothing at all there you can see. Really, really good. Same for the bottom of the boot all around there. And again, you can have a good look at the underside and the stanchions on that spoiler. There's no sign of anywhere there at all. Coming around the passenger side, nice and clean. Same as the other side, there's not really anything to note. There's no sort of cigarette burns. There's no smells of any smoke or dog or moisture or anything like that anywhere in the car. Not very often you find a Vectra that doesn't smell a little bit of cigarettes, but no, this is really good. This side of the dash, all nice and tidy. You've got your original Philips stereo in there as well. Uh, and then we'll show you once this has started up, none of the pixels or anything are missing from the computer. And then coming around under the bonnet, still got the battery cover on it. Normally they've got walkabouts by now. Could do with a good detail in here, but you can see around the strut tops, nice and clean. Like I say, it wants a proper cleaning, sort of these little gaps here like that. That looks like rust, but it's not. It's just sort of dirt trapped under there. All the slam panel, that's all good. All the plaques and everything in the right places. We'll get it started up. Yeah, it starts up on the button. I'll shut up for a second so you can see how quiet and smooth that is. If we go around the back. Nothing nasty coming out of the exhaust. Decent noise from that exhaust as well. And then we'll have a look on the interior. We've got a warning light for the handbrake on. Obviously because we've got the handbrake on. But like I mentioned earlier, on that computer, there's not a single pixel missing from that one or the dials on there. So which is not, quite rare on these things. So there you go. One of a thousand Vauxhall Super Tourings. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. Let us know. Thank you.